Imam Mahdi, peace be upon him, will come at a time when the world is filled with injustice, confusion, and people have drifted far from the truth. According to the prophecies, his arrival will be both awaited and doubted. He will emerge as a leader to restore justice. But despite the signs of his coming, many will reject him. The world will be in turmoil, and yet hearts will remain hard. When he appears, many people will not believe that he is the true Imam Mahdi, peace be upon him. Even though the signs of his arrival will be apparent to those who are deeply rooted in faith, most will be too blinded by worldly distractions to recognize him. They will say, this cannot be the one we were waiting for. Some will even argue that they expected a different kind of leader, perhaps one with more wealth, status, or power. In their arrogance and attachment to materialism, they will fail to see the truth in front of them. The rejection of Imam Mahdi, peace be upon him, is not just a result of disbelief. It is the manifestation of a deeper illness in the hearts of people. Many will reject him simply because he does not fit the image they have created in their minds. He will be a man of incredible wisdom, knowledge, and sincerity. Those qualities will be lost on those who are preoccupied with superficial things. As prophesied in the Hadith, when the Mahdi appears, some people will deny his true identity despite all the clear signs. They will say, how can this be the Mahdi? He is nothing like we expected. They will question his lineage, his appearance, and his mission. Just as many rejected the prophets of the past, they will reject the Mahdi, peace be upon him, not because of a lack of evidence, but because their hearts have been sealed. Imam Mahdi, peace be upon him, will not seek fame or authority for himself. In fact, he will deny being the Mahdi at first, as foretold in the Hadith. He will shy away from leadership, knowing the weight of the responsibility that comes with it. People will insist that he is the Mahdi, but he will deny it until he is left with no choice but to accept the role for which he has been chosen by Allah. This humility will be in stark contrast to the leaders of the world at that time who will be obsessed with power and control. When he finally accepts the mantle of leadership, the Mahdi, peace be upon him, will face intense opposition from both within the Muslim Ummah and from external forces. His refusal to conform to the worldly expectations of leadership will cause many to oppose him. Even within the Muslim community, there will be divisions and many will turn away from him. They will reject his call for unity, his efforts to bring justice, and his warnings of the impending trials that the world will face. The rejection of Imam Mahdi, peace be upon him, will be one of the greatest trials for the believers. It will separate those who follow their desires from those who truly seek the truth. In a world filled with deception, recognizing the Mahdi will require sincerity of heart, deep knowledge, and a strong connection with Allah. Those who reject him will be swayed by the Dajjal, who will offer them everything they desire in this world in exchange for their faith. It has been said that the Mahdi, peace be upon him, will encounter false claimants who try to deceive people into believing they are the promised one. These false Mahdis will further confuse the people, making it harder for them to recognize the true Mahdi when he finally appears. The chaos will be so widespread that only those with firm belief and a heart dedicated to Allah will be able to see through the lies and embrace the Mahdi, peace be upon him, as their leader. Those who reject the Mahdi, peace be upon him, will not only be rejecting a man, but the divine guidance sent by Allah. They will be turning away from the very person who has come to save them from the oppression and darkness that has overtaken the world. Their rejection will lead them down a path of destruction and they will be left to face the consequences of their disbelief. As the Mahdi, peace be upon him, continues his mission, there will be moments of immense difficulty and trials. People will accuse him of being a liar, a deceiver, 
and an imposter. They will plot against him, and some will even attempt to kill him. But just as the prophets before him were protected by Allah, so too will the Mahdi, peace be upon him, be under the divine protection. The Mahdi, peace be upon him, will not falter in his mission, despite the overwhelming rejection and opposition. He will lead with strength, justice, and mercy, guiding those who are sincere back to the path of righteousness. Under his leadership, the world will once again experience the justice that has long been absent. However, the trials will not end with his leadership. The arrival of the Dajjal will soon follow, and the believers will face their greatest test yet. Those who rejected the Mahdi, peace be upon him, will be among the first to fall under the influence of the Dajjal. They will be easily deceived by his false promises and miraculous displays. Their disbelief in the Mahdi will make them susceptible to the Dajjal's tricks. In their hearts there will be a void that can only be filled by faith, but since they turned away from the truth, they will be left vulnerable to the greatest deception the world has ever known. The time of Imam Mahdi, peace be upon him, will be a time of immense trials and tribulations. The true believers will be those who recognize him, accept him, and follow his leadership, despite the rejection of the masses. It will be a time that tests the faith of every individual, separating the sincere from the insincere. May Allah guide us to be among those who recognize the truth and follow it, even when the world around us is lost in confusion and denial.